everybody! Welcome to the Jada and Stitches Show! It's time for another crochet quick fix! So let's grab our hooks, grab our yarn, head on over to the craft table, and let's stitch it up together! To make our mini granny squares, since this is a scrap project, you need very little yarn. No more than 20 grams. I'm using a size 4 medium acrylic weight yarn today. You need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook, also known as a 7 in the US and the UK. And once you've got all that together, we can get started. These mini granny squares are compact and dense, so we have very few, very small spaces in them. We're going to start with a cinch circle. You can use a chained ring if you have trouble with the cinch circle, but using a cinch circle will make the middle nice and tight, so no spaces. Once you've made your cinch circle and chained one to secure it, you're not going to chain any chains. We're just going to begin a half double crochet. You're going to work three half double crochet into the cinch circle. Make sure you're working over top of your little short tail. And those three half double crochets create one shell. So even the shells in this mini granny square are much smaller than normal. So three half double crochet equal one shell. We're going to chain one for a corner space. So unlike a lot of the squares that I make, instead of two chains in the corner, we're only making one because we want our corners and our corner spaces to be tight and small. Three more half double crochet into that cinch circle. And that's another shell made. Nice little shell. See our little tiny corner over here? Chain one for a corner and you're going to repeat that twice more. Three half double crochets, chain one for a corner, three half double crochets, chain one for a corner. You should have three half double crochets, a chain, three half double crochets, a chain, three half double crochets, a chain, three half double crochets, and one more chain to complete row one. So four chains, and 12 half double crochets. Take your little short tail and cinch your circle shut nice and tightly. You're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that first half double crochet you made. You can weave in your tail as you go or you can wait till the end and weave it in across the back when you're all finished. So you can find those little chain one spaces that we made. You'll find them in between your little shells and pull them out, you can see that you've got a very small, tight little square forming here. In order to begin every row, we're going to slip stitch across to the next chain one space. So we're always going to be working in the same direction. So we're just going to slip stitch across the little stitches that are between where we join with a slip stitch and our chain one space. So you'll slip, you'll join to the top of one, slip stitch across the next two, and then slip stitch into the chain one corner space, and that's where you're going to begin every single row. Only chain one to begin a row, and then we're going to make a corner. We're going to work three half double crochets into that chain one space, and it's going to be tight, but that's the point. Chain one for the corner, and before you leave that chain one space, work three more half double crochet into it. So a corner is shell, chain one, shell, and a shell is three half double crochets. So this is a small, compact version of a regular granny square. So there's our new corner, shell, which is three half double crochet, one chain for the corner, and three more half double crochet, or a shell. While you're working across the straight, we are not going to chain between our shells. We're just going to work directly into the next corner stitch. And you're going to work shell, chain one, shell. Or three half double crochets, chain one, three half double crochets. Hey. 
and there's your second corner. Shell, chain one, shell. Don't chain in between shells running along the sides of our square. You're just going to work directly into the next corner space. Shell, chain one, shell, and repeat that to the end of the row. At the end of row two, you should have eight shells and four chain one corners. The number of chain one spaces will be the same no matter what row you're on. They will always be your corner spaces. Every row will increase by four shells in total, or you can think of it as one shell per side. When you finish with your last shell, so that was a corner, shell, chain one shell, find the top of the first half double crochet you made, and it might be sort of slightly down the side. Join with a slip stitch. Do not chain between those shells. Every row begins by slip stitching across the next two stitches and into the next space, which is a corner. It will always be a corner. You will always begin every row by slip stitching across to the corner space. Chain one and work a shell, chain one shell, into your new corner space. Three half double crochet chain one, and if you have to move it down a little bit, go ahead, and three more half double crochet. We are not chaining between our shells as we run across the sides of our square. So once you finish a corner, shell, chain one shell, the next space you're gonna work into is this one here between the shells from the previous row. You're not chaining, you're just going to work directly into that space. And you're going to work three half double crochets or a shell. You're still not chaining. You find the next corner space or the next space which is a corner. You're going to work directly into it. You're going to work a shell which is three half double crochet. And remember, the only chains you make in a row are the corner spaces. So once you're working into a corner space, you work your first shell, which is three half double crochet, chain one for the corner, and complete it by working another shell, or three half double crochet, into that corner space before you leave. So we're not chaining in between our shells. The only chain that happens in every row is the corner space chain. Shell, chain one, shell in a corner space. Find the next space, it's this one here in the middle from the previous row. Work three half double crochet into it. And then the next space is a corner and into that corner we work shell, chain one, shell or three half double crochet chain one, and three more half double crochet. You're going to repeat this little pattern all the way around and I'll catch up with you at the end of this row. At the end of row three, you should have 12 little half double crochet shells. So each shell is three half double crochet. You should still only have four chain one spaces and those will be your corners. You're going to finish with a shell in the very middle of that side. Don't chain. Remember we're not chaining between our shells as we run across the sides of our square. You're just going to find the top of that first half double crochet you made and you're going to slip stitch to join. And that is the third row all finished. And if you want to put it down and maybe pull out the little corners. They're very, very small. So we're three rows in, and this is a very tiny little granny square. I'm gonna do row four with you. Every row begins with a slip stitch across the next two stitches and into that corner space. Every row begins the same way. Chain one and begin the shell which is three half double crochet. And since we're working into a corner space, it's a shell, chain one, shell. 
you're basically going to repeat row 3 all the way around. So every corner space gets shell, chain 1, shell worked into it, or 3 half double crochet, chain 1, 3 half double crochet. You do not chain in between your shells as you work along your sides. Just find the next space, which will be between the two shells from the previous row. Immediately work a shell into it, so 3 half double crochet, That's it. Find the next space, work three half double crochet into it. And then the next space, which is a corner, so you work shell, chain one, shell into it. That's all you need to do. I'll let you finish up row four, and I'll catch up with you at the end. Once you've finished row four, you should have 16 shells and still only four chain one spaces and those will be your corners. You're going to finish by finding the top of the first half double crochet you made and slip stitching to it. It might be a little sort of slunk down the side there. And if you're all done you can continue working these little very dense miniature granny squares for as many rows as you want but I like to keep them nice and small. But Every single row you would add would be basically the same as row 3. Every corner space gets shell, chain 1 shell. Every space along the side gets a shell in it, or 3 half double crochet, and you just keep repeating and repeating until you have a square that you like. Every row will, re will increase by 4 shells in total, but you'll never have more than 4 chain 1 spaces. When you're done, you can just snip your yarn. Fasten off, make sure that knot is nice and tight. Grab your yarn needle, flip it over, and you can weave in your short tails across the back through some of those little stitches that are there. If you're using a slippery yarn, I recommend that you weave it back and forth several times, three or four. If it's not terribly slippery, then weaving it back and forth maybe twice should be good. Remember, don't pull it too tight that you pull your stitches or your square out of alignment. And when you're going back, double over, so double back, flip, jump over top of the last stitch you came out of, and then go back through the same stitches that you wove your yarn through the first time. When you're done with your mini granny squares, you can treat them just like a regular granny square. You can sew them together, you can single crochet or slip stitch them together, just like you would the bigger versions. You can block them the same way you would the larger granny squares. And these particular squares are great for things like baby blankets, doll blankets, or even doll clothing, because the spaces are really small, so little fingers aren't going to get caught in it, and they're nice and dense and warm. Here's an example of a granny square poncho that I made for an 18 inch doll using exactly the same granny square. So it's only four rows and I made four of them and I sewed them all together and added some fringe. Nice simple little doll poncho made out of miniature granny squares. And that's it for this quick fix. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you really soon on the Jaden Stitches show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have fun. Bye! Please visit our shop and purchase a pattern. It helps support our show. And we'll put a link to our shop in the description box down below.